When I came out of the Pentecostal church, one of the hardest things for me to leave behind was praying in other tongues. Really, that was one of the hardest things to leave because... Um, now, this is actually not perceptible human language, correct? The way you correct. did Correct, yes. This, right. And we didn't even talk about that, right. but uh, I think and am convinced that, that one can make an argument from Scripture that the gift of tongues, glossolalia, languages, which is what that means, uh, in the New Testament always refers to actual human languages. That would have been understood by somebody who was a speaker of that language. Exactly, right. yes. Um, and that, I think you can argue from Acts chapter 2 and from 1 Corinthians uh, chapters 12 through 14. And I did make an argument for that in the sermon series I did on 1 Corinthians. But um, one of the hardest things to leave behind was praying in other tongues in that kind of way, which I don't believe now was authentic glossolalia. I don't believe it was a true gift of the Spirit, but just my mind, my it was from me. It wasn't from the Spirit, it was from me. Um, but uh, when I stopped praying in tongues and tried to pray in my own known language, which forced me to actually use my mind to come up with words to say, I would run out of things to say very quickly. I didn't know how to pray. And um, I would be at a loss for words to say. And I was very aware of my own inadequacy in prayer, my um, inability to pray for lengthy periods of time, which you can pray for tongues forever. You know, you never run out of things to say because it's always spirit gift, you know, given on the spot. Um, but one of the things that really helped me uh, work through that was to listen to a sermon that uh, Dr. Richard Gaffin gave on Romans eight twenty six, and uh, where Paul talks about the Spirit helping our infirmities. Uh, the Spirit Himself helps our, helps us in our infirmities, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. And uh, that's a fantastic text, which of course was a text I would have used as a as a charismatic to say. This is why I should pray in tongues. I don't know that's how to pray. The, the spirit are. gives me, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, the spirit, right? Tongues. That's, yeah, those that's are the groans. Exactly right. But see, the problem with that interpretation, one of the problems. There are more than one, more than one problem. But one of the problems is Paul says that the spirit, um, that the spirit intercedes on behalf of the saints, all the saints, with groanings that are too deep for words. It's not for the select few who have the gift of tongues. It's for all Christians. So this, you know, the Spirit's intercession is not confined to a few. It's for all the saints. Um, but that uh, text uh, really helped me, and Gaffin's sermon on that text really encouraged me uh, to be to persevere in prayer, because of course we are inadequate in prayer. Uh, this. You know, it's our weakness. It's part of our weakness. We do not know what to pray for as we ought. Not on occasion. We never know what to pray for as we ought. Um, but the Spirit always intercedes for us, and He does for all believers.